Hi, my name is Father Gerard Araujo Tangchun. I'm a Carmelite from Trinidad. Trinidad is located in the Caribbean, right off the coast of Venezuela. And this is the story of my vocation. Um, well, I grew up in Trinidad, um, and one of the oldest of five children. Um, when I was younger, I thought that I would always want to be a, uh, a wealthy person, make lots of money, have a nice house, get married, have kids. Um, but somewhere around my teenage years, I felt the, the tug of God calling me to, uh, to something else. I wasn't too sure what that else was, but I figured somehow it involved the priesthood. Um, as I talked to different people about it, um, sometimes I felt like I had support, sometimes I didn't. Initially, my family was not too happy with it. Um, but I got the support of my siblings and eventually in my parents, as well as people in my office. Um, at the time, I was working in a bank. Um, and during that time, I spoke with uh, various people, priests, nuns, and whatever. And and I realized that God was calling me to be a religious. I just didn't know the religious community at the time. Someone had suggested um, the Carmelites. Now in Trinidad, at the time, this was in the early 90s, the only Carmelites were the sisters, and I presume they didn't want me to be a sister. Um, as I talked with one of the sisters there, a couple of them, like Sister Katrina, Sister Adriana, they um, told me that there were these guys from New York Carmelites who were interested in opening something down there. So eventually I got into contact with them and I talked with them. And uh, Father Mike Kassane, he's the one who came down and I spoke with him. And as he spoke, I realized that um, a lot of things were meshing. So I, I took a little bit of a vacation from my job and I went up to New York. And I remember it was the feast of um, the Annunciation, March 25th, that I entered the first place there, St. Thomas Aquinas in Brooklyn. And as soon as I entered the house, there was just a piece about the house, um, something in the community, pictures of Our Lady and, and other saints, and I just felt like I was at home. And I felt at that moment that, yes, this is what I wanted to do with my life, yes, I wanted to be a Carmelite. Um, I went on a vocation retreat with them in Massachusetts, and as they talked, everything continued to mesh. So, of course, when I went back to Trinidad, I promptly um, resigned, even though I wasn't formally accepted as yet, and I just kind of put all the paperwork in, in motion. Um, as I um, left and entered the, um, well, I was accepted, because here I am. Um, as I went into uh, New York, where the formation program began, um, and I listened uh, to um, the various stuff about the Carmelites, the history, the heritage, the spirituality, the saints, um, their devotion to Mary, just kind of tugged in my heart, and I've not regretted it um, ever since. Um, that was about 15 years ago, actually, almost to this day that I did that. Um, I've been a priest for the last um, seven years, a Carmelite for the last 11 years, officially, and um, I really enjoy it. I think what I enjoy most about the Carmelite life is the fraternity that you experience among the brothers. You know, you can go to um, any other Carmelites around the world and still be treated with that hospitality and that love and you know that you belong to this, um, this group of guys that goes back 800 years, um, back to the days of um, the first uh, Carmelites back there on Mount Carmel in Israel. Um, I love their sense of prayer. Um, Carmelites also have a sense of peace about them. You find that with a lot of the, the Carmelites, and I think that's something that really um, continues to impress me about the, the Carmelites. Right now, I am a pastor in Trinidad, been a parish priest in St. Michael's Parish for the last three years. Um, I do the Hispanic ministry there too, so I celebrate masses in Spanish. Um, I also, we have a social outreach, so I belong to that, um, and enjoy especially working with the youth stuff with, with that so um, that's it for my story thank you